atmosphere with the first check of the weather, including we're seeing what Hurricane Nicole did to Bermuda. Yeah, and we actually have hurricane force winds on the West Coast, too, so per hour. And we are still looking at this storm system making its way, just continuing to move to the north and east. So it is no longer a threat to Bermuda, but we have a second threat for the Pacific Northwest. Again, wind gusts were up around 100 miles per hour along the coast, and the stronger storm is going to move in this weekend. On Saturday, we are looking at perhaps wind gusts over 100 miles per hour. This is the rain we've seen in the last 12 hours, about two to four inches of rain with even isolated higher amounts up around six inches. And because of all the wind we're expecting with 80 to 100 mile per hour wind gusts, even for areas farther inland, we do have hurricane force warnings along the coast. We have high wind warnings. We have high wind watches. We could see a storm surge and significant power outages are possible, especially as we go into Saturday night and through Sunday. So that's something we really have to monitor. That's a look at the weather across the country. Your local forecast is coming up in just 30 seconds. All right, as Al continues to be on the mend, Dylan's here with another check of the weather. And uh, we are looking at warmer temperatures through the middle of the country where it's been pretty chilly the last couple of days, well below average. But we're going to replace that with unseasonably warm weather as we go through the weekend and into next week. Look at Saturday, Wichita, Kansas, 85 degrees. St. Louis up to 80. We'll be staying well above average, possibly even some near records today. And of course, we're keeping an eye on that Pacific Northwest storm. The bigger of the two storms will be moving in Saturday night. That's a look at the weather across the country. Now here's a peek out your window. And how could you forget, Sunday night is football night in America. The Colts are heading on down to Houston to take on the Texans. It's a retractable roof, but outside it should be nice and warm. Temperatures around 90 degrees, 82 by game time. I really don't know how they decide if the roof is open or not. So either way, you can catch all the action. The Texans and the Colts Sunday night on NBC. Coverage begins at 7 p.m. Eastern with football night in America. Happy birthday, Feldman. Yeah, we love you. All these people are here just to clap for you. Yeah, and secondly, because we have Kings of Leon. Yeah, yeah exactly. Carson, thank you. Dylan, check of the weather. A good glass of milk would be good, too. Uh, right? Ooh. Yeah. Uh, we've got uh, this big storm system in the Pacific Northwest. We pointed this out earlier, but this is going to be the big story going into the weekend. The first one made its way on shore yesterday. It produced wind gusts up near 100 miles per hour along the coast. The next one is going to uh, move in as we go into Saturday afternoon, and the second one is going to produce even stronger winds, perhaps.